is going on guys? It's Jeff Segela Game here and today I am back yet again with another gameplay video and this time I'm going to be playing Port Valley The Competent Demo and this was actually sent to me through my mail by GameDot I think or Shio, I don't know, I, I always tend to forget but I think in, in the description anyway so without further ado, let's get right on to it Part 3 Consequences Wait, what? was there supposed to be a, a first part to this? I don't know, I'll find out anyways Come back traitor Shut up, who's trying? You'll never take me alive Damn glamours How did they find out about me so fast? Damn it. This means problems. Someone must have opened their mouth. Anyway, it's not too late yet. I just need some time to stop and think. Everything will be fine. Stop the stolen beagle right now! Come get it! Nice. That the delivery guy called the cops again. But I don't care. I've come this far and no one's going to stop me now. What happened? They're shooting? My bad. You just saw a light. Why the hell is this happening to me? Oh, they shot the scooter thing. How did I end up this way? Let's see now. I wish I had never taken this job. What? Was that supposed to happen or? I'm not sure. Oh, so it really was supposed to happen. Old school. Maybe I'm supposed to go with easy first. I don't know. This is a demo that really shows the story and game mechanics of the adventure of game Port Valley. Such the puzzles in the plot have been simplified and the game will start with the third introductions. Please don't expect too much from it. Oh, so yeah we Um So we do start at part one, but it tracks back. Wait a second, I'm not that far away from town. I guess I just take my wallet and go find a way to fix the tar. What? Stop again! It's gonna be one of those tutorial puzzles, huh? And what a way to break the fourth wall. <laughs> I like games like this. Oh, so you actually decide what you do. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Yeah, you have to do something. Stop with this guy. Hey, what's with that outfit? Wasn't this a frozen banana stand? Oh, hi, my friend. I'm afraid that's no longer the case. 
I really need to, to be the one telling this, but... Old Lou passed away last week. Who? Look, I didn't really used to pass by that often, so... So, allow me to introduce you. This stands new business. Drum roll. Welcome to the first annual Demon Rights Charity Quiz. Every, th every time collected in here will be used to fund the Demon Rights mayoral election campaign. I don't think you understand how charity works. Anyway, would you sir like to take part in the quiz? As our first customer ever, I'd like to offer you a first attempt for free. The rules are pretty simple. Answer a politics question correctly and win an amazing prize. Sure, why not? Hey wait, and what if I fail? Don't worry, you'll receive a consolation prizes for taking part. Sweet! I have a shop for close to Is that a yes? Sure. Okay, so then... Who said experience is simply the name we give to our mistakes? That has nothing to do with politics. And the countdown starts now. I actually don't know. Marie Curie? Wrong. Oh man, I'm sure you got it right. The correct answer is... David Wright. The hell it is! Wait, Stephen Wright is always the right choice. Wow. This quiz was rigged from the beginning, wasn't it? Here's your consolation prize. Is this a red button with a D? It's a coin in the wooden money box if you want to play there. And remember, it's a vote for Stephen Wright. Gosh, I sure wish. The music is incorporated because when I played the shadows uh, alongside our guard, um, the music that played through the radio was actually copyrighted, and it kind of pissed me off. But I don't know, it's not my taste, so it's what else. Very good time. Sister, oh, she may be the lady earlier. I don't know. Good, then I'll let you do your thing. If I'm right, then you only have an hour left. Stop saying that, you know I'm bad under pressure. Well, I gotta go. I receive another call. This is the last time I help you. I don't want to look more suspicious. Wait, do you have any chewing gum? What? I told you, I can focus if I now chewing gum. What about. This right here with the little kid. Ah, I have to leave. I'll lend you my tools, but only use the red screwdriver, okay? Okay. What are you looking at, you muppet? Oh, that's a very friendly way to get someone. Oh boy, breathe. It's okay, remember your training. God, if I only had chewing gum. Alright. Let's try to negotiate this kid into giving us the chewed up gum. Alright, let's talk to a little bit. Here, you okay kid? Where are your parents? Is this a kid mapping, mister? What? No, no! Don't say those things. I'm just trying to help you. Oh, so it's not that. But I only want to show it one of my friends once I was back. Look, kid. Just tell me what you're up to and I'll leave, okay? But it's a secret. Why a secret? They're going somewhere. No, mister. I'm waiting for someone. The Polix ask. You never saw me here. You're a bit too young to be saying that kind of stuff, you know. 
but it sounds so cool in the movies. Ah, I keep an eye on you for a while. Okay, so maybe we steal the gum. I just stopped her already. What's up, kid? Hi, Mr. Funny Hair. Could I have a piece of chewing gum? Hmm, I don't know. You have a weird face. I mean, please be my pal. <laughs> okay. But only you do something for me. Look, I'm not teaching you how to smoke or anything like that, understood? No, mister, it's not that. I just wanted to ask Mr. Cat for that balloon. But I'm too shy. That's all? You want that lame balloon? Yes, mister. More than anything in this life. Well, that's a broad statement to make. Okay, kid, I'll be right back. Okay. Yay! Okay, let's talk to this banana kitty cat guy. I'm back. You need something? Can I have the balloon? I'm sorry, my friend. I found this magnificent balloon inside the barrel and I'm grown attached to it. How do you exactly grow attached to a balloon? You close minded people. Look, it's not fun for me. It's for that little girl over there. Come on, I'm sure she'll remember this and vote for Divan when she grows up. Right, kid? Yay, I'll vote for a moron! Hmm, I guess Divan is not that of a common sense nowadays, is it? Common name, I guess. Come on, my friend. There's no need to be shy about your feelings. Here, you can have this instead. What's this? It's a picture of yourself with the balloon. Can I ever see you pick up your bright in your kitchen? 50 law abiding recipes. Wow. Seems intriguing. No, you can. Look, you know how to open a stock scooter box? And why would I know such thing? Well, I know the TV. People in mass are usually good at lock picking and robbing banks. Sorry to disappoint you. Do you have anything to use as a lever? Not really, my friend. We're not allowed to carry sharp objects since this incident with the kid. Jeez, what happened to the poor thing? That poor thing didn't realize there was a person inside the costume. Can we please change the topic? Suit yourself. Uh, let me try again, I guess. Sure thing. But I don't have money yet. Rules are rules. Should we do? Let's give this to the kid. It's time for some reason. Buy the balloon. Sir kid. What a very cool guy. Ah, okay. But hey, don't worry. Your pal guy is something even better. Really? What? What? Here. It's a picture of a guy. <laughs> a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Picture of Mr. Cat with the balloon. Yes, yeah, see? And it's better than a regular balloon because you don't need to feed it. Here, you can have a chewing gum. Thanks. Alright, I got a chew. A piece of gum. Yes, mister. I was <laughs> What? What a way to recycle chewing gum. Try giving this. Alright. I found a piece of gum. Really? What flavor? Pink? <laughs> oh, then don't even bother. I'm so interested in strong milk gums. Huh. Okay, sure. What can I do with this? Um, I guess I talk to the kid again. What's up, kid? Hey, Mr. Funny Hair. 
Nice backpack. Thanks, mister. I also like your red skirt. It's an apron. This bag is a limited edition of Super Unicorn Girls. The animation trademark. I used to be my sister's, but now she wants to look all grown up and give it to me. Ha! Huh, I'm sure this is a 40 year old Dirk somewhere with that same backpack. What's a door? Oh, nothing you should worry about yet. So, what are you carrying there? Seems quite heavy. That's a secret, mister. Those drugs. You really like saying that, don't you? Yes, I really do, mister. Uh, I really know what to do with the gum. Plastic. Uh, uh, that. Anyone wants to make this a better time. It's a shame that some people still judge him for something that happened seven years ago. You should check out tonight's TV interview to see his true face. I'm sure it's gonna be a blast. I have plans. So we really can't do anything for now. Maybe stop this guy. Excuse me. What? What was that? What do you want from me? Can I have this room? Impossible. It's the only one I have of this type. You like chewing gum, right? Y yes, it helps me relax while working. That's why I prepare those minty ones that don't lose their flavor easy. Let me know when you find those. Sure. Can I talk to you again? Just one question. What now? I think you're fulfilled. <laughs> what kind of bargaining is that? Don't you see you're just waiting your time? That's what they said about my university degree. Now look at me now. Sorry, kid. Look, I need to fix this thing as soon as possible. My job depends on that. Am I supposed to? <laughs> Previous I need it. Look, leave me alone for a while, will you? Uh, how am I supposed to? Oh, a wasabi paste tube. Okay, so there we go. Oh no. Uh, yeah. And then here we go. Oops, I emptied it. <laughs> well, don't even think about it. Well, uh, I have a lot of problems. All right. Have fun, man. I found a piece of gum. What? Really? What flavor? Hmm. Green blizzard. Oh, that sounds great. Give me a second. There you go. Hmm. This thing's not bad at all. Wait for it. Maybe a little too spicy. <laughs> okay, friend. So he turned into a dragon. It's not still in this, it's a video game. So this game likes to break the fourth wall, I see. What have you done to me? Oh no! Okay, maybe we can use the screwdriver on this scooter thing you now. Give me a place to stand. I will move the whole world. Boys and girls. Hmm. What? 
the hell? Wasn't this supposed to? Let me check the one more again. <laughs> what? Here. Yeah. Oh, so that was the solution. <laughs> but it's way too twisted. We don't have time for this. Wait, is that? Which one is it? Aha! Oh, look! Look at that! It opens up. Wait, I should get going now. All right, I'm gonna go. Hey, can you give an iron scooter to the back? Sure, happy to help. Okay, thanks, sweet guy. That's why you don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, sure. Can we go now? Hey, have you seen the screwdriver? I was using it, but now it's suddenly gone. No idea. What have I done with it? Should I give it back? Oh, I threw it. Nobody, no crime. That's right, get rid of the evidence. I, I guess I try with another screwdriver. Y yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Part 2. So guys, I'm actually gonna end the recording right now. I'm gonna save this part 2 for next video because I think it's a bit too long now. So um, thank you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Again, it's Jeff Gaming here. Peace out.